Hello viewers. Today I am going to show you the easiest process of outdoor portrait edit. So I am going to opening the file which I want to edit. Clicking on open. So this is the photo which I am going to edit. So for the first, for the color correction, I am going to the camera row filter from filters and camera row filter. So this is the camera row filter and you are seeing here a lot of option to color correction. Now I am increasing the temperature a little bit. and also increasing the tint a little bit I think this photo has a good exposure so I am taking exposure on neutral the contrast I think this photo need a little bit contrast so I am increase, increasing the contrast around positive 26 now highlight this photo has a little bit over exposed on some portions so therefore I am decreasing the highlights if I increasing the highlights it would uh, it's getting some bright in area so I am decreasing the highlights a little bit around minus 14 is enough now the shadow I am increasing the shadow a little bit Around positive 18 is enough. Now the white. I'm decreasing the white a little bit because this photo has a lot of white portion and it looks overexposed. Therefore, I have decreased the uh, whites. Now blacks. I'm decreased the blacks option a little bit. Around 38 is enough. Now I'm going for hue saturation and luminance. On saturation, I'm increasing yellow a little bit and decreasing the green a little bit and taking oranges around around 14. No red. Around positive 40 is enough for the raid. Now I'm going to the hue and I'm decreasing the greens uh, around 51, minus 51, and decreasing the yellow also around 50. Now I'm decreasing the orange a little bit, around negative 18 is enough. And I'm also decreasing the red a little bit to make the leaves a little bit reddish. So I'm going for FX. FX is only for the big netting and I'm only use the FX for big netting. Now I'm decreasing the amount of fx around minus 42 and giving the feather around 70 so now we have done the color correction of camera row filter now I'm taking some extra layers to make the colors more accurate so I'm taking color lookup and going for soft warming look so we are seeing the photo got uh, enough warming look for this layer now I'm going to make it soft light now I'm going to make it screen and decreasing the opacity around 7% is enough I'm taking another layer which is color balance 
and taking some yellow and taking some red and I'm going for another layer which is levels just decrease the right option so I think this is enough now I'm taking the exposure and giving a little bit offset and decreasing the opposite of this offset I think around 40% is enough for this exposure now I'm going to merge all the layers in a new layer so I'm pressing alter control shift and E so this is a new layer this is a new merged layer from all those layers. Now I'm making it smart object by right click here and click on convert to smart object. Now I'm going to filter and need collection and color effects pro for And there are a lot of filters on Color Effects Pro 4. For the first, I'm taking Detail Extractor and decreasing the opacity of Detail Extractor around 7% 7, 7 is good for this photo. So this was before and this is after. Now I'm adding this, now I'm adding this filter. I'm taking another layer which is cross processing. On cross processing, uh, there are several filters. Just use which filters goes with this photo. I think this filter which is C04 is good for this photo. And this was before and this is after. So I'm adding this filter again. And I'm taking the filter cross processing again. And now I'm taking B02 and decreasing the strength around 8% is enough. So I'm adding this filter. Now we have done some filters for this photo. Now click on OK. Now these filters are saving for this image. So the filters are added. So this was before and this is after. I think this is better than before. So we have done the outdoor portrait edit on Photoshop CC 2018. Hope we have liked hope you have enjoyed my video so please 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 don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please 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 like on my video and comment on this video what you are wanting and how to improve my tutorials and your opinion thank you